The first coding I ever did was in Java when building my first Minecraft mod at age 12. Then I hit puberty and took a 7 year detour in an attempt to become the cool kid. That was later cancelled and I picked up coding again at university at age 20. There, I learned and got pretty good at Python. Right now at 21 years of age, I'm working a summer internship as a C++ developer. Transitioning from Python to C++ was like going from cooking in a microwave to building the microwave itself. Reality is more exciting and less forgiving than university. Being surrounded by experienced coders has taught me a lot and these are my best tips for for new or aspiring developers. Ever been shredded in a code review for a bad variable name? Don't worry if you haven't because you will be, and I certainly have, especially if I've used a variable in multiple locations all over my code, meaning I will have to go back and change the name in many different places. If this happens to you, don't worry as you can use a technique called refactoring. In any integrated developer environment, right click the problematic variable, select refactor and rename. The computer will rename all the variables for you in every file of your project. Even the header file if you're writing C++. Refactoring is context aware and maintains the same behavior of your program. Unlike its friend find and replace, which is arguably quite stupid as it doesn't understand coding. Refactoring also works for functions and ultimately makes your rescue mission simple. The shortcut for refactoring in Xcode is Control command e and these are the shortcuts in other IDEs. And while we're on the subject of keyboard shortcuts, do yourself a favor and learn them. This will help you avoid the sin of reaching for your mouse. A coder's speed is measured in keystrokes, not mouse clicks. Every time you reach for your mouse, one puppy dies. When facing your first code review, your coworker or boss will inspect your code with a big magnifying glass. Use my insider checklist to be one step ahead so that you don't have to go back and fix petty errors. There's nothing wrong with going back and rethinking your code after a review, but not for these things as they are easily avoidable. For each of these, I have been there and done that, so skip these rookie errors. Asking for help is like asking for a dance. Not that I've ever done that, but the principles remain the same. Be clear, polite, and easy to follow. This is my help me framework. First Google and ask ChatGPT, preferably GPT-4 if you can afford it. It answers 90% of my questions and in the rare case that it won't answer your question, follow these steps to interact with another human. Don't be discouraged if you struggle making yourself understood. The first 10 times I asked questions, I was not able to get my point across at all. Asking questions is an example of human to human interaction, which can be just as tricky as interacting with computers but equally as important. Communication and collaboration. If you're watching this you are likely an introvert and like being by yourself. That is fine but you will likely code in teams so learn how to do that effectively. It mostly comes down to mindset. Tell yourself I like working with others and they know things that would benefit me and vice versa. If you're watching this video, you're one step ahead of others because you are learning. Unlike jobs such as nursing and firefighting where things don't change so much, our job as coders are changing all the time. New tools and frameworks come out every week. Most recently GPT-4, which has transformed the way I write code. If you're not using it, you may be one step behind. It does not replace coders, but rather augments our abilities. Problem solving is the heart of coding and one of the most important soft skills. Every time you improve your problem solving skills, it's like peeling back a layer of an onion, but an infinite onion, as there's always another layer to peel. It sometimes makes me cry. Right. Fireship has made an incredible video about problem solving that you should check out. I will link it in the top right. Here's the big plot twist when working as a coder, at least if you come from university like I did. Very rarely will you build new things from scratch. Most coding work is about maintaining others code. You are the code detective. Navigating someone else's hasty, puzzling and often atrocious code might seem like a nightmare. And it usually is. Also, the person who wrote the code you are tasked to maintain has likely left the company and is now sitting at a beach or working in a call center. It is now your responsibility to sort this monster out. Start by reading, understanding and debugging. Once you've got the lay of the land, feel free to build your own hasty, puzzling and atrocious empire on top. This has been my first rapid fire video. If you like this short video, click like. If you didn't, leave a hateful comment, but remember to refactor it later. If you survived this, you might like my longer video about how to master your first coding job. That video is way longer, but equally as valuable. Thanks for watching watching and see you over there.